Monday night with Tarby, and believe me, we've got a great guy coming on now. He's just about the finest card manipulator I've ever seen. But apart from that, you'll be seeing him making his acting debut in a terrific film called Modesty Blaze. Here he is, all the way from the continent, Sylvan.
I'm just plain Jim, an ordinary guy. You'd pass me on the street and wouldn't notice me. Yes, folks, I'm just plain Jim. Russ! Russ! Let him come on in the wings. Russ, stop it! Who's at the gate, Martha? I just can't see. Ah. You said you'd fix my neck. Ah. <laughs> oh, wrong way round. <coughs> just remember, I don't smoke. Dear, oh dear, I'm going mad tonight. Bring me a stool out, Violet. <laughs> no, no, don't, no, please. He's a charming lad. He's been up a crane all week. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. Yes, take that off. All right. Looks good in colour, that boy, full of life, yes. Knew when he was alive, lovely lad. Anyway, tonight we're going to delve in the archives of Tarby. And believe me, it hurts to have your archives delved into. You ever tried, mate? Have you? Oh, sorry, madam, it's the haircut. Anyway, yes. <coughs> I was born in hospital. I wanted to be near my mother at the time. And, um, I was a problem child. I was only kidding our street with nappy rash on the head. Yes. I used to have barbed wire around my playpen. I remember I walked out one day and knocked on the kids next door house. I said, are you coming out, Tommy? His mother came to the door. She said, he's not to play with you. I said, what's to do? We're not playing for money. <laughs> but we were. Anyway, nothing like a few quid. Yes, then of course I went to school. Of course there was class hatred in our school. We all hated class. Yes, we were very tough. We used to play hopscotch. It was real scotch. <laughs> a kid in our class put his hand up. He didn't know whether he wanted to leave the room or someone had a gun in his back. Oh. Then I had my first crush. She was 14 stone. Yes. She was the nearest thing to Sophia Loren. She looked like Carlo Ponti. <laughs> I'm not saying she was fat. No matter where she sat in the class, I was always behind her. <laughs> her shadow looked like a mob. Dear, oh dear. Then there was my dad. Poor old dad. He was a shift worker. Every time he mentioned work, he'd shift. He didn't care. He came in, he said, Jim, if you want to get on in this world, you've got to get out. I said, out where? He said, out of bed for a start. Come on, get a job. <laughs> yes, Tarby's story started long ago in Liverpool. And I came over, no, my granddad came over. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, granddad Tarbot came over from the old country. And there he was at the pier head in Liverpool. And he was coming down the gangplank on the ship. He looked up and he saw the anchor. He says, by heaven, Pat, look at the size of the pics they've got over here. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> and he was walking along the dock road and he bumped into a policeman. He said, officer, I'm used to the town. Do you direct me to the monastery? The policeman said, yes, which monastery is it? He said, the monastery of labour. <laughs> so... He was walking along and he saw this big sign, Woman's Exchange. So he walked in and there was a rat-faced old so-and-so behind the counter. Not so much an Emma Peel as a lemon peel. <laughs> she said, what do you want? He said, after seeing you, I'll keep my wife. <laughs> so, they give him a job as a ringer out for a one-armed window cleaner. And uh, he didn't like that very much, so he packed his hand in and there he went on the building site. Now he enjoyed his tilt there. He was building this little wall one day and the foreman came up and said, I say there, I say there, my man, who built that wall? Granddaddy Tarbuck stood up and said, I did. He said, I've never seen such a bad wall in all my life. You sat. He said, listen, I can show you a wall worse than this one. He said, you show me a wall worse than that one. He said, you've got your job back. So he took him round the corner. He said, dear, oh dear, you're right. That is worse than the other one. Who built this? He said, I did. <laughs> That's true, folks. Jack. Because I'm just plain Jim. Whoa. Thank you. Dear oh dear, my skin's leaking. Well, it's a bit warm in here tonight. But anyway, right now, it's my pleasure to introduce to you, viewers, a wonderful act. Well, I think we've adopted them in this country, I can really honestly say that. But apart from that, they've been home to Australia to see all their mums and daddies and their folks. We're very thrilled to have them back at the Palladium. England's favourite folk group, The Seekers! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Glory, hallelujah. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow.
Thank you very much. Backstage, after our last Palladium show, we met a young American folk singer by the name of Paul Simon, who had written a song especially for us. We liked it very much, and we decided to record it, and we'd like to sing it for you right now. It's called Someday, One Day. <laughs> Open up them pearly gates for me. When you hear the trumpet sound, then you're on the path. Open up them pearly gates for me. When you hear the trumpet sound, then you're on the path. Open up them pearly gates for me. 